If you're new to Modular, one of the most confusing things is what the hell is CV and how is it different from MIDI? I get it. I was super overwhelmed in the beginning too, but once you understand the basics of how signals flow, it's not that complicated, I promise. In this video, I'll walk you through how I connect my Octatrack to my modular setup using a module called the Mutant Brain and explain the difference between MIDI, CV and Gates in a way that actually makes sense. This video is part of my beginner-friendly series and if you want more help building a modular system that works for you, make sure to check the link below and join my free email series Start Modular. Let's start with MIDI. MIDI is not audio, it's data. It tells other devices what to do, like play this note, trigger the drum or turn this knob to 70%. It's digital and super common in DAWs, synths, drum machines or samplers like the Octatrack. But modular synths don't speak MIDI natively. They speak CV, short for control voltage. So what we need is a translator. And that's where the mutant brain comes in. It takes the MIDI signals and converts them to CV and gate, which your modular understands. So what is CV? CV means control voltage as we know already and it's literally just voltage flowing through a cable and it changes over time. Think of it like turning a faucet. The voltage goes up or down and depending on where you patch it, it controls different things. If you patch it into the volt per octave input of an oscillator, it will control the pitch. If you patch it into the FM input of a filter, it will open and close the cutoff. And if you patch it to a VCA, it controls the volume. So if MIDI says play C4, CV is like someone physically turning the pitch knob to the right spot. CV is analog, smooth and continuous. Now, what about gate? A gate is just an on-off signal. When it's on, something happens and when it's off, it stops. It's like flicking a light switch. In a modular setup, a gate usually triggers an envelope, which then shapes the volume of your sound via a VCA. So the basic flow looks like this. The MIDI gets sent to the mutant brain. From there, it's being split into pitch CV, which goes into the oscillator, like my piston Honda, for example. And the gate out of the mutant brain is usually put into an envelope, like my javelin or rampage. And then I patch the envelope to the VCA to output for a filter. Let me show you how I do this in my live setup. So I have the Octatrack. I take the MIDI out and root it into the mutant brain. The mutant brain has four CV outputs and 12 gates. You can configure each one however you want using their online editor. I send pitch CV to my piston Honda. This controls the note. I send gates to my quad VCA, rampage or the javelin, which triggers the envelope. And the envelopes then trigger my VCA or the javelin has an input VCA. And that sounds then go through the filters and to the FX and then to the blue box. You can do this with any sequencer, but I use the Octatrack because I already bring it to my most gigs and I love its MIDI setup. Do I need a mutant brain to do this? No, there are lots of MIDI to CV converters like the FH2, Yarns or Hermod. I use the Mutant Brain because it's small, flexible and works well with the Octatrack. Can CV do more than pitch? Yes, you can modulate filters, effects, pan, speed, whatever. It just depends where you send it. Can you send MIDI CC to CV? 
Yes, you can with the right converter. But in this video, we're focusing on pitch and gate, which are most essential to start. MIDI and CV aren't magic. They're just different kinds of signals. And once you understand how they flow, it gets a lot easier to make modular feel like music. If you want more beginner-friendly help building your setup, check the link below and join my free email series Start Modular. I'll walk you through the mindsets, tools and setups I wish I had when I started. And if this helped you, leave a comment or share with someone who's just starting out modular. I'd love to hear how you're patching.